Yeah, when it's only one race a night, we'll do two times. But double headers will do three times. What's up? Yeah, we already put that in our notes to to talk about. I think we're likely to I think we're very likely to change it. And I it's either going to be two or four. I think Yeah, I think that's the way it's leaning right now. Two chances left to punch your ticket to the final four, and it starts here at New Hampshire. Shocks is on the pole, green flag in Loudon. Everybody checking out that brake pedal. Texas going to get a little bit high, but able to gather it back up. Using a lot of the apron, going to get some good speed there. Oh, he's going to get into the side of Typhon. Shocks is going to get loose. He's going to hold up the top line. Our pole sitter having a little bit of trouble through the first set of turns. Looks like Ryman took advantage and went back up to the lead. 75 laps here tonight. Oh, Scarecrow got into the back of Suffocated Hard, who just sent Typhon up the track. Oh, I do not know if that was lag or he just overdrove it, but Scarecrow just went straight into the back of Suffocated. Scarecrow gets into the back of Tiger there. That I do not think was lag. I think Scarecrow's still trying to get his line down, Pat. Ox looking to gather it back up. He was our pole sitter and just seemed like he missed uh, this turn two. Once 
what's the fuel run, guys? All right, so we've got 17 laps in the stage, and these guys got more than enough fuel. So you're going to be uh, fully green here through stage one. Um, well, I should say no pit stops here through stage one. So we've got a battle for second. Shocks is going to look low. We're going to get up there with them. Shocks and Texas have caught the leader. These guys have kind of run nose to tail and worked their way up together. Texas all over the back bumper of Ryman. All over. It looks like he actually slowed him up a little bit. Can Shocks pull low quick enough? I think he wanted to get lower quicker, but he just he would have had to get into the out of the throttle. Texas going to go way high. Shocks going to take advantage out of two. We'll see if Texas can get back. Ooh, good. Good exit there for Texas off that top line. Texas got a definite loose out of there. So Texas taking a really wide diamond here, driving it way up to the top line to get a really good throttle off. This guy's nose to tail coming into three. See, you can see Texas likes to drive it in low. Meanwhile, Shocks is kind of driving it into that third lane and then driving it low on exit. Texas is going to let him go by for second. Shocks now up to the fourth, fifth lane. He just clears. Texas, oh, we got a car low. Looks like Tiger. See, he's going to blend back in. These guys behind him. Scarecrow down low. We're going to check in with that group. Alico, Typhon cuts off Alec a little bit. Typhon a good run though. He's going to get to the inside of Scarecrow. Ten to go here in stage one. Typhon's going to go by for position. Meanwhile, Insanity and Alec side by side behind them. Alec going to give the old chrome horn there to Insanity. He's going to get by. Insanity not too happy. Drives back up on the bumper. Looks like Tiger got a little bit close to out of control there in one. He's going to go high and Scarecrow going to go low. Typhon looking as well, but Tiger's going to get a really good run on the outside here. That's for fifth. Might have a battle for the lead. Scarecrow trying to make, or uh, Shock's trying to make that outside line work. Shock's was our pole sitter lap one. He missed the, a turn on the opening lap, fell back to third. And it looks like it's taken him 10 laps to get it back. Shocks your leader at New Hampshire. We've seen Shocks be really strong at all races in this round. Watkins Glen and Dover. He's won all three stages that he's completed. But as they say, the only stage that pays is that last one. And so far, Shocks is looking for a little bit of good fortune here tonight. See a lot of these guys using that apron in two, trying to get a good runoff. Shocks our leader coming through four. He's going to come to five to go. We've got Shocks first, Ryan second, Texas third. Meanwhile, look at this group behind him. Suffocated clearly up in fourth, but this battle for fifth is on. Scarecrow looking inside. <laughs> Tiger, he's going to get into his corner a little bit, set them up. Typhon, meanwhile, using the low line. Oh, contact! 
looks like Tiger is pretty high up. It's just tough to judge. He came out of nowhere there for Typhon. Scarecrow looking inside of Typhon. He makes contact. Scarecrow just missed that inside wall. Big battle here for fourth. Or fifth, I should say. Oh, Typhon just sticking the nose under. He's going to try and find a way by Tiger. Oh, we got a car trouble on the front stretch. It's Texas. Can they avoid it? I don't see anyone else collected at the moment. A lot of cars had to avoid it going through the field. I'm not sure what caused that from Texas, but everyone is still running. He's reporting, hearing a lot of loose race cars out there. Big loss there for Texas. How many laps left, guys, in the stage? Two to go in stage one. Catch back up with our leader here, Shocks. See what it looks like out the back. See, he's got a pretty good lead over second, and second's got a big, big lead over third place. Looks like suffocated. One to go in stage one. Started on the pole, he went back to third for a little bit, but drove his way back up. Shox is gonna come through four. He is gonna win his fourth stage of the round. He wins stage one. Well, once again, stage one goes according to plan for Shox. Move to stage two here. We're gonna ride with Texas in the back as shocks and suffocated on the front row. Green flag is back out at Loudon. Stage two. Twenty-five laps. No pits, I'm hearing. All right, these guys are three laps to the good, as long as they can keep the tires under it. Good run here for Texas as he makes some two positions on the outside. Our front two are side by side. Scarecrow <laughs> drives it in hard. Gonna get a good run off. Alec into the side of Texas. Texas doing his best to keep it up on the outside. Tiger's gonna take advantage. Tiger making that second lane work really nice. He's going to get Texas. He's going to get Scarecrow. He's going to try for three in one turn. Not Oh! Scarecrow gets into the wall. He gets back out in the Tiger. Scarecrow gets collected a little bit, but he keeps going. Oh, contact in the front. Typhon and Tiger side by side as they're trying to catch down third. And Tiger is a man on a mission right now on that bottom line. Typhon can get back underneath him here. Not this time. Tiger clears it. Oh, just as I said that, Tiger gets into the wall. Typhon goes by for four. Alec trying out a new racing line, trying to run in that bottom. Not quite, but tight, tight racing with these guys. Fifth on back. Scarecrow gives a nice little shot to Tiger. They both go up the track. Alec just tried to stay out of harm's way on the bottom. <laughs> really entertaining racing here from 5th, 6th, and 7th. 
Hacker gets a little bit out. Texas going to put it three wide. Oh, Alec had to let out. Tiger gets into the wall. Oh, and then Sanity makes it three wide. He gets into the side of Alec. Alec has nowhere to go. Sandy's going to make contact. As Alec slides up the track. Tiger's going to look underneath him. Tiger is going to go by for position as he tries to run down the pack ahead of him. Just in that, Alec able to get back underneath him. We'll see if he can hold on again. He tries out that apron. Alec's going to have to be careful he doesn't hit the pit line, uh, pit road marker, run that little line. Jock's still out front, just where he wants to be. Ryan in second. Suffocated third, Typhon fourth, Scarecrow fifth, Texas sixth. Looking at our playoff standings, we know Ryman is in. We know that Noah has now missed three races this round and is effectively winning in. Nick has missed two races tonight. He's going to need to be winning in. Sonos has missed two more races. He's going to need to be winning in. So right now, your top four just on making three races right now are going to be Ryman clinched and then Suffocated, Typhon, Shocks, and Tiger are probably going to be pretty close here. My guess is... My guess is Shox takes the lead out of that group with all those stage points. Oh, Typhon too low! Too low for Typhon. Typhon really tried to create a new line there and just got way too low. see if Shocks can can bring it home here as he's in the lead now you'll have three drivers fighting for two spots on points unless we have uh, some new racers back next week and next week Kansas one race for our last race of the round see Scarecrow's run down suffocated here for third Scarecrow driving it hard underneath him, a little bit on the quarter panel, a little bit, he's going to let off, let him go by, or let him stay in front. Making a run here off of two, Scarecrow's there. Suffocated might have let him go there. Going to look back underneath. Not enough horsepower there, Scarecrow is going to hold on. Third. Shock's still clean. Again, we are in stage two. These guys do not have to pit. Shock's one, run two. Oh, Ty Texas loose. He's able to keep it down on the low wall that time. We've seen Texas a number of times tonight, getting loose late in a run. This is definitely a track where as the run goes on, you get way looser and that right rear becomes more and more worn. Where you start to learn who started to run a little bit looser of a setup and who planned a little bit more for the long run. Heard some contact there behind fourth. Sounds like it might have been Texas there. It was really fighting a loose race car here. Oh, 
How many laps to go here, guys? All right, we have got 11 laps to go here in stage two. Front car is pretty spread out. See Insanity trying to make that apron work there. Just needs to watch out for that inside wall. Here we see Tiger falling back a little bit. He tries to reel Typhon back in. Guys with coming to nine to go, I believe. I think the leader just took nine to go. These are two guys that are gonna be points racing right now, Typhon and Tiger, so tough tough corner there for Tiger. Might have been pushing a little bit too hard. Yeah, our leader coming out of two right now. Did leader just take five to go or six to go? Here and we're at seven to go right now. Oh. Now six to go for the leader in stage two. All right, we are under five laps to go here in stage two. Four to go now for the leader is Shocks. Nothing new here. This is, he's won all four stages he's raced in so far. Good turn there for Tiger. You know he's going to try and get this point here from Typhon. So we're now about three laps to go. Might be coming on two here. See two completely different lines. Typhon using the bottom two lanes for the shortest way around. Tiger's going to go up to the fourth lane for the quickest way around. Right back up to the bumper here. Again, Tiger about a lane higher than Typhon there. Typhon just starting to adjust and maybe move up. Tiger getting a little bit loose there off of two. Leader might have just taken the white flag. So these guys are going to have about two to go right here, two to go. Tiger's been able to drive up to the bumper of Typhon, but he has not been able to get a nose under him. White flag is out at New Hampshire. 
Good run here for Tiger. If he can keep it off the wall, he does. Where is he going to make the move? Tiger's been quickest up on the high line. We're going to stay with this battle here. This is our closest run. As again, Tiger gets loose off of two. You see that big group ahead of them. Pretty even. It's going to be Typhon here. Shocks is going to win stage two. Suffocated second. Ryman second. Suffocated third. Scarecrow fourth. Sandy might have had trouble off of two there. He is taking the Roval, I see. We're following Insanity running the, uh, the road course inside of New Hampshire right now. It's just completely uh, let that car go. Stage three about to be underway. All nine cars still with us. Who wants to punch your ticket to the final four? Green flag is out. Twenty-six laps to go. I do not think these guys are going to have to pit again. So with the, if they can make the tire save, these guys are not going to have to make a green flag pit stop today. Texas going to back out. He's going to fall back. Scarecrow got a little shot up into three. Meanwhile, Ryman might be looking inside of Shocks for the lead. He is. These guys are two by two. Shocks using the high line. Can he get a good enough run off? Ryman still on the quarter. Ryman still on the quarter. Good bottom there for Ryman. He gives Shocks the room, and that might allow Shocks to clear him. Does he slide back into second? Not quite. Alec right on the bumper of these two. Talk about a guy who shows up at the end of the race, Alec now, right on the bumper of the leaders. Just wait for these guys to make a mistake. Oh, both of them driving in pretty hard. I don't know if Ryman got into Shocks there, but Alec's looking low. Ryman on the inside, Shocks here, a great battle for the lead as they're side by side. Oh, hearing of, hearing about big time. We had to confirm with the drivers there. We are going to have a caution flag at the line here. Looks like we might have had a lag-induced caution. These guys did not have to pit for fuel. It was going to be close on tires. The caution is going to be out.
All right, looks like everybody came down on pit road. This is this is going to be the last uh, pit stop for these guys, provided there's not another caution. Shocks came down with the lead, as we see <laughs> Sanity just barreling his way down pit road. Shocks first car out, Ryan in second, Alec third, Suffocated fourth, Typhon fifth. I think a choose rule for the whole field would get nuts and messy. How many laps are we going to have left? Under 20 laps to go what we're hearing. All right. We're going to be going green with 18 laps to go. Shocks is your leader. He chose to start on the outside. Ryan in second, already clinched into the final four. You've got Alec third, our winner earlier tonight, but not a playoff driver. Suffocated fourth. Typhon fifth, Tiger sixth. Shocks, our leader. He goes midway through the zone, green flag is out. Suffocated's going to clear him low. Suffocated the second. Tiger's going to try and get that outside line work, and everybody else is beneath him. Texas get into the wall, gets into Alk a little bit. Texas gets back into the wall. Like every, everyone's around, able to go around him. Catch back up to the lead. Shocks has cleared the field for the lead. Suffocated the second. Tiger now with a great run on the outside. He's up to third. Ryman now take the brunt of this. What a move by Tiger. He splits the two of Suffocated and Ryman gets to the outside of Suffocated. Is he going to be there? Yes, he is. Suffocated's got to give him the room. Tiger to second. Ryman going to try and dive bomb and just misses going into Tiger. Good run here for Ryman. He's going to get back on the inside of Tiger here. This is a side by side for second. See Ryman gets that nose out at the beginning of the turn, but coming out on off the of exit. What a run there for Tiger as he clears for second. Meanwhile, as much as racing as Ryman was doing for second, he's going to have to get out some defense in here and try and stop Typhon from going by for third, which is exactly what Tiger wants to be able to try and catch our leader. Again, Typhon good here on entry. Actually uses the apron. He's going to get a pretty good run off for being on the bottom. Man, even that, you see how good that outside line is on exit. Ryman goes by. Ryman dive bombing it. Man, he just missed Tiger there again. He's on the break, but man, does he break late. These guys are nose to tail here for a second. Ryman showing his nose on the bottom. Tiger likes it to run it high, maybe not that high. As Ryman's going to clear him for a second, but Tiger looking low, a little bit of a block there for Ryman. Tiger's going to force his way down low. Trying to settle in, he's trying to settle in, but he's got Typhon underneath. He's going to clear him. Man, Typhon gets close to that pit commitment line. Alec going to go by for fourth, meanwhile. A lot of good racing here from second on back. Got to be close to about 12 laps to go, maybe. Taking 12 at the line. We 
suffocated trying to make that bottom work to get around Alec, but that exit off of two actually didn't help Alec as much as I thought it would. Suffocated still there on the inside. Contact. I think Alec just came down into him a little bit. They're still side by side, but Alec's going to clear him off of four. That is for fifth. Meanwhile, see Typhon and Tiger. These guys have been running nose and tail all day. We'll catch up with them. That's a battle for third. Leader coming to 10 laps to go. Tiger getting a little bit too high. It's going to allow Typhon to get a low beneath him. Typhon to get a run. Sticks on the bottom. Is he going to have enough momentum off the top? Tiger's there and he clears him going into three, but Typhon's going to drive it in to keep his position. Oh, Tiger on the outside made some contact. I don't know if he's going to hold on. He does. Alec runs right up on the bumper. Meanwhile, Suffocated's going to make the big move inside for position. Scarecrow, oh, Scarecrow drives in hard and drives Alec into the wall. We are under 10 laps to go. Alec getting it a little hot there, gets into the back of Suffocated. This battle for third is on. All three playoff drivers here with Typhon, Tiger, and Suffocated. This could be a very good preview for next week and what could very well be the cut line. With the drivers that we've had show up so far, we're potentially looking at these three drivers you see here fighting for two positions. Between Typhon, Tiger, and Suffocated. But we'll see. I think we have seven or eight laps to go. Seven laps to go for our leader. Typhon getting a bad run there. It's going to allow Tiger to hold on for third. Suffocated the move pass for fourth. Alec fifth. Six to go. Suffocated getting loose off exit. With six to go, I'm hearing that insanity. Oh my goodness. I'm hearing with six laps to go. Six laps to go. Shocks lagged out at the lead. Six laps to go. Ryman takes over the lead. He's coming to five to go. Oh my goodness. With six laps to go, the motor blows for shocks. Ryman takes the lead. Unbelievable. Meanwhile, Ryman, that, that battle we saw earlier, we weren't expecting it to be for the win, but it very well was. Meanwhile, the run for second is on. Suffocated is inside a Tiger. Well, that battle for the cut line got a lot more interesting because throw shocks his name into the mix now for that next week. Ryman now, I think, just took four to go. Both of those guys are using the apron, Suffocated and Tiger. Hearing that insanity just lagged out as well. Insanity, yes, parked. Three to go. Tiger trying to hold off Suffocated for second. And we are riding with Alec here as we are under three laps to go here from Loudon. Ryman. Ryman really slow. Oh, Ryman is lagged out. Ryman is lagged out and the battle for the lead is on. Tiger has it. We are coming to two to go. Suffocated is inside. We are side by side for the lead. Two laps to go. Contact. Tiger driving suffocated low. Suffocated's going to drive it hard. He clears him. Can Tiger get back low underneath him? He does. He drives suffocated up the track. 
suffocated into the wall. Tiger is clear for the lead, but here comes Alec. Under two laps to go. Tiger's got Alec all over his bumper. Suffocated goes by for second. Suffocated hits the inside pit wall. He's gone. Tiger takes the white flag. Typhon goes by Alec for second. Can Tiger hold on? Tiger is looking for his first win of the season and it could not come at a better time. Tiger clear out of two. He's got a 10 car length lead over Typhon. Tiger really smooth through the third lane through three and four. Through good fortune and a good car, Tiger goes on to win his first race of the year, wins it loud and punches his ticket to the final four. Unbelievable. What a finish there. We'll hear from all these guys in our post-race interviews. There you go, Jack. All right, I think we've got almost everybody. If you guys want to go ahead and check your audio box to include your audio. I think Texas Alexis is not here. I sent him an invite. Um, I'll send him one more. Yep. Don't go instigating there, Rowdy. Hey, that's all I'm here for. And we'll get one real quick to start the show off. Oh, hold on. Still well, I'm not going to I'm not going to make you We're going to get started, guys. I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Shocks. I know the disappointment is probably uh tough to describe, but how you feeling and uh thought thought you had two winning cars tonight. Uh yeah, we should have had two wins and a total domination of my <clears throat> But I'm not even really concerned about winning these races. I'm just more concerned about finishing finishing them at this point. Um, I'm not gonna touch iRacing racing for probably three weeks till the season's over. I'm not touching the Ethernet cord. I'm gonna reinstall this game. I'm gonna unhook the internet, unhook it, rehook it back up for races. It's just disappointing at this because we had it with six laps to go and then it ended. I know it's a really stressful way to drive, uh, but car was fast, and we know you'll be fast at Kansas next week. Um, 
and we got two spots still open for grabs. So best of luck trying to troubleshoot it, and uh, best of luck next week. We'll move up to eighth place at New Hampshire. Uh, Insanity with us. Yeah, I'm here. Sandy, I think you started second at Dover, so you clearly had speed under the hood. Um, did you did you think you had a chance there when you started on the front row that Dover would be a good chance for you? And yeah. then at New Hampshire, um, how was the road course? We saw you testing it out there a little bit. Do you think we might see that racetrack come into fruition in the future? Um, well, that was a really unfortunate at Dover. I didn't really expect for me to qualify that high, or even on the front row at least. And running probably like Fourth, I would probably say we were like a fourth place or like a top five car somewhere around there, and the game decides to quit on me just like it did with Shocks in that race. And at the New Hampshire race, the car just had no speed at all. It just felt like Phoenix. So I decided to take that detour or road New Hampshire road course on the final lap of stage two, and it was pretty rough on worn out tires and felt so sensitive that I couldn't even like drive it properly and at stage three I was just driving extremely slow and I got loose coming off of turn two and just like slid down the whole entire back stretch into turn three and creating a pile of dirt so I was just driving doing my thing and I see I'm watching the track map with the leader and all of a sudden, the leader just disappears and appears on pit road. And I was thinking that Shox was the leader at the time, and he was. And so I was coming around into turn one, and I saw that his car in the first stall was just sitting there. And I was really unfortunate for him. And then my game decides to quit on me, and I lag out too. But got an eighth place finish at least, and some incentive points. So. Uh, good job to the winners, and it's really unfortunate for Shocks for him to lag out after a dominating performance. Yeah, I certainly understand their insanity. We had three cars lag out, I think within three minutes of each other, based on the laps, I'm going to say. Our third car there, unfortunately, was Ryman in seventh. Ryman, you with us? Yeah. Whatever. Ryman, go me through the range of emotions through that two to three minutes. I mean, you are you feel like you're probably going to finish second at New Hampshire. Shocks lags out and it puts you in the lead with under five laps to go. And then all of a sudden you lose connection too. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's nothing on the host or something, but I mean, I was having fun battling with Shocks up there. We were probably the two best cars there in the entire race. And, uh, uh, same thing with like Dover too. I was running third, and then I came into pit for two tire or four tires or something, and I sped that race. Thank God I got my win, you know, last week. Cause you know, stuff like this without a win, man, this this is just stupid. I should have had the second win, but <sighs> and I mean, you know, when you get the two top guys like that, I guess you get a stupid winner like that. Or something. Congrats to him. Well, at least for yourself, you got the uh, the win at Watkins Glen in the bag. So we'll see you uh, Kansas next week and already punched your ticket for the final four. We'll go up to sixth. Uh, suffocated you there. Yeah. Can you we saw you running side by side there for second. Ultimately, uh, for the lead there with the way it panned out, um, you were running that bottom line um, and looked like you just got a little bit too low. I wasn't sure if you got helped down there or whether you just got a little low and got into that pit wall, which sent you back to sixth. But talk about that late run there to the finish and ultimately what happened there at the end. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't the fastest, you know. I think I was maybe third, fourth place car. You know, the, you just got lucky. Right, man, and shocks came out. But I was battling with uh, Tiger and like I said, pushed me into that outside wall. I lost so much momentum. And, uh, you know, I tried to get a run for the last lap on the bottom coming out and I just lost it on my own. So that's, that's, that's my fault there, but you know, I don't forget. I'll remember for next round. That's all I got to say. 
Well, it should be in a, uh, a good battle next week at Kansas on the cut line. You're right in the thick of it. Got some good stage points. So we'll move up to fifth. Texas Alexis, he's not here, uh, but he finished fifth tonight. Uh, fourth place, Scarecrow, you with us? Yep. Scarecrow, looked like your strongest car was at Dover tonight. You ran second most of the night um, and got stuck on the the ass end of three wide, unfortunately. Got put into the wall and, and never really were able to recover. Um, but run me through your night. It seemed like you had a strong car at Dover. Uh, yeah, Dover, we were pretty quick. Uh, I don't think anybody had anything for shocks there, but I was hoping we could just run second. That'd be a pretty good finish because he's probably one of the fastest guys around. But, yeah, we had some contact there, and that late, that caution in stage three kind of turned it into a fuel race where we were kind of hoping it would go because the longer we went, I think I was getting better. Uh, I think everybody else was getting a little loose, and I was starting to get good. But uh, just tight race in there. It's, uh, for grooves on the bottom, everybody wants it. So it's just hard racing. And then New Hampshire – that was a lot of fun, you know. A lot of people slide jobbing each other, running it in deep, three, four wide, beating each other off, or or slamming in doors. Okay. That was a lot of fun. Um, but it, it was pretty fun. I, it sucks to see uh, Shocks and Ryman disconnect. They were probably the two classes of the field there. But uh, two top fives, I guess that's not bad. But definitely, I don't think I had top five speed at New Hampshire. But you know, you get lucky sometimes. Yeah, certainly. You take the lucky finishes just as the ones that you that you earned uh, with your speed alone. So we'll move up to uh, – we're going to skip third at New Hampshire as one of our winners. We're going to move to second uh, with Typhon. Typhon, you were uh, – well, first, you're with us. Yeah. Dover was a heartbreaker for you. You had the lead with about 20 to go, and uh, it was just a matter of whether you cars were going to be able to save or not. You pit from the lead with about six to go, and unfortunately uh, the other cars were able to stay out. Um, was there any chance that you could have could have saved it? We saw our leader run out coming out of four on the last lap. Was there any chance that you could have saved enough to, to give Alec a run for it? Well, for Dover, I mean... It was just another one of those uh, kind of messed up ordeals of just slacky racing. Uh, I don't like the whole trying to sit there and run 20 laps of trying to save fuel. I mean, it's that's just pointless to me. I, I've joined the league to sit there and have racing hard the whole entire race and stuff like that. So I wasn't going to be one of the guys that sits there and just tries to save fuel on that final stage. I think there was... Um, uh, I think Ryman and, uh, Alec, Alec had a good idea, but he ran pretty much the whole 20 laps full throttle. And then the last three or four laps, he slowed it up to sit there and save fuel. But everybody from fourth on back, I mean, they were saving for about good 15, 18 laps or something like that. And just like I did over at, uh, Teledega during round one of the playoffs on the second, uh, race that we had there the same ordeal i mean everybody's sitting there running 150 160 miles per hour at talladega when you're supposed to be doing about 200 to 215 so uh, i'm not going to be one of those guys that tries to do that i mean it's not racing you know so uh having a pit uh did that quick splash for gas and I got a little loose coming out of pit road and ended up screwing around and tried to get it corrected, got it corrected, and then I slid upwards towards the track, got on the track in front of people, wasn't trying to, it was just one of those loose incidents. Uh, glad Alec was able to pull out another uh, win for Nightmare Racing. Hopefully me and him can stick it out together and possibly do something for everybody next season. Uh, and over at New Hampshire, I mean, it wasn't the fastest car, it was probably a top five car. But just like Scarecrow said, I mean, that's kind of like a Bristol race. I mean, that's going to be bumping through every single turn. Everybody trying to dive under somebody. Everybody just coming up with too much speed, not expecting the person to slow down so much. So, I mean, it was it, it was fun racing. I mean, nice beating and banging. A lot of good incidences there. And uh, We'll say uh, I feel bad for, I mean, I was okay with Ryman because he already got a win. But I feel bad for Shocks because, I mean, this whole entire round two started and, 
at all three races, he had the fastest car, won every single stage, and then ended up getting screwed on lagging out. So it, it sucks that that's happening to him. Hopefully he can pull it out for Kansas for uh, at least a third driver to get the win. Hopefully I can make it in the top four. We'll see what happens. Other than that, uh, that final run, uh, suffocating Tiger, Tiger apologized, suffocated. It, it was just one of those racing ordeals for those final two laps. And I will say if I had one more lap, I probably would have caught Tiger just because uh, the whole time he was trying to catch up to me to pass me, he was never able to do it. So I knew if I could sit there and just get one fresh, clean lap on him, I'd be able to get past him. But all in all, uh, second place finish uh, probably be close, right on the borderline of the top four. But we'll see what we can do at Kansas. Yeah, you're right in the thick of it there for next week. All right, we will go to our race one winner tonight. Alec, are you with us? Yes, indeed. Alec, I know you brought it up earlier, and I'll let the last rest of the group know. I think everyone is uh, thankful that you didn't make one more race in the regular season. If you had made one more race, you would have been eligible for the playoffs, and you'd very likely be have punched your ticket to the Final Four tonight. Uh, talk about the win and saving enough fuel, and ultimately, you got to feel like you're taking a ton of momentum into next season. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's pretty surreal. I mean, the first one, I, here, here's the way I got to look at it: is I've never had much luck with much of anything, and for whatever reason, HRL and me have clicked to have so much luck from that uh, indie win, just being in the right place at the right time with a fast car, and then Dover. I it shouldn't have worked. It I. <laughs> we took that green flag after unfortunately shocks lagged out at dover and it would have been interesting to see if he could have saved the fuel but we took that flag and i said eh, the fuel's really close and i just said you know what it's no sense in laying back i'm just gonna run it and ran behind typhon there for that whole time and just looked at the numbers and said uh, i'm gonna be about a lap short and i came up to what three to go or so and then i've never abused the clutch pedal so much in my life i've never been a fuel saver i've tried to do it before and always come up short and I still came up short. I was out of fuel out of four, and she was coasting, but luckily running hard got me that four or five second lead, and <laughs> I can't believe it. So I'm I'm real happy with that one. And New Hampshire was almost the same tale of kind of just running around, hanging out, and unfortunately all that mayhem happened. The, oh, my God, everybody's lagging out, or this and that's happening. And um, we had – not much pace, but just enough to stay with everybody, and we found something in that third stage to run with everyone, and I did my best to keep, keep the nose clean on the car. I don't think I ever had any front-end issues. I think uh, there's one time I had to use the side of the car up because I wasn't stopping because uh, the people behind me weren't stopping, but the rest of the time is just rear-end damage for the most part, so tried to keep it clean all night at New Hampshire, and it was a hell of a race, both races. I'm s sweaty a little bit too much, but uh, I'm out of shape, I guess, so it was... Uh, it was a fun night and uh, fun running with Tiger and Typhon and never got to race shocks. He was too far out there, but uh, I guess reliability and luck come into play when racing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, certainly we're there at the end of both races and that, that takes a lot. So good runs for you tonight. Tiger, are you with us? Yeah, man. That's going to bring us to our winner. Um, Tiger, you win your first race of the season and it could not have come at a better time. Uh, that outside line worked really well for you tonight. You were quick. I mean, you were a top three to four car all night. Um, and as I said, what a better time to pick a first win. There's a lot of guys in this league who've won multiple races who would trade all their wins for what you pulled off tonight. How you feeling? Like the luckiest and stupidest SOB alive. Uh, Dover, I, I'll talk about Dover first. Dover was fun. It was, uh, like everybody said, that, that late race fuel mileage deal. I dropped back just to let everybody go and just started saving. But I was about half a lap shorter than I wanted to be. I got up to suffocated for a second, and I ran out going into one. And I'm like, no! But I ended up coasting all the way back around for third still, so that worked out. My goal tonight was to beat Typhon in points. That's, that was my entire goal was to beat my buddy. And it worked out. And going into New Hampshire, very fun. I had the more fun tonight in just the race. Even if I wouldn't have won, I'd have been screaming about how much fun it was because it's me, Scarecrow, um, 
Alec, Typhon, uh, uh, Ryman, even. We were all beating and banging and just having a blast. Most fun I've had in a race yet. And then all the craziness happened at the end. I was just riding along, you know, trying to make that high line work. It, it, it just felt good. I don't know what I did to the car. I know what I did to the car, but it just it felt good. And I made one more adjustment, tape off. Took a little more tape off at the last stop, and it, it just hooked up. And I, I could stay even with shocks, but he was just too far out there. Um, and then shocks lags out. And so is your mic. Still there, Tiger? Uh, That's the oh, trouble. <laughs> Yep, you like that? Look at this monkey. You like that? I'll, I'll, I'll improvise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to say the internet was struggling when I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, that's that's good enough. Tiger, you there? All right, well, it seems like Tiger lost connection, so congratulations to him. He punches his ticket onto the Final Four. Ryman has punched his ticket to the Final Four. So we're likely going to have a pretty close battle at the line. My guess is that Suffocated and Typhon and Shocks are probably going to be all pretty close at the cut line. Three drivers for two spots, unless... Nilla or Sanos are able to make it, or Nick are able to make it back next week and win at Kansas. So, should be a fun one next week, guys. See you then. Tune in next week for the hell of a battle. Go get your zero. Oh, come on, on. Right now. <laughs> Thank you, Hunt Brothers Pizza.